Welcome to your Meet the Germans health checkup. We'll be running through some fun facts about health in Germany. Please take a seat and we'll get started. When you walk into the waiting room at a doctor's surgery, you should always offer a general greeting to the assembled sick people. Guten Tag! Everyone in Germany has to have health insurance. And if you're going to pay for it, you might as well use it, right? So the Germans go to see their doctor a lot. Or rather, doctors. Because here it's quite normal to go straight to the specialist. Which brings us to the next point. Why complicate things with Latin or Greek? Here in Germany, the specialists are usually given very simple labels. Eye doctor. Tooth doctor. Skin doctor. Women doctor. But sadly, the house doctor is not some kind of feng shui expert. It's just the normal family doctor. You know the kind of health wisdom that gets passed down through the generations? Well, here are some examples of things that will make you ill, according to many Germans. Drinking water after eating cherries. Drafts. Very, very bad. And eating raw beans. Or raw potatoes. But they're totally down with eating raw minced pork meat. Hmm. In a drugstore or drogerie markt, you'll find more toiletries than actual drugs, and you won't find any painkillers in the supermarket. For most over-the-counter medicine and all prescription medicine, you'll need to go to an apotheker. Look out for this symbol. A lot of pharmacies and doctor surgeries will be closed for up to two hours at lunchtime, because lunch. And some will shut up shop on a Wednesday afternoon too, because hump day. A lot of Germans avoid taking pills for common ailments like a headache or fever. Many opt for delightfully peculiar home remedies instead. Perhaps laying a little sack of onion over your ear. Or wrapping your calves in cold towels. Let's play a little game of Have You Ever, the home remedy edition. Haben Sie mal Zwiebel gegen Ohrenschmerzen benutzt? Ja, hab ich. Jawohl, es funktioniert. Nein. Ich mag keine Zwiebeln, deshalb auch nicht auf dem Ohr. Und Wadenwickel? Das habe ich schon gemacht bei Fieber, ja. Ich glaube, wenn man dran glaubt, dann funktioniert es auch. <lacht> das weiß ich auch von meinen Großeltern oder was, dass sie das da benutzt haben. Ne? Ja, das habe ich bei meinen Kindern gemacht. Das halte ich auch für sinnvoll. Salzstangen und Cola gegen Magen-Darm. Also ich kenne das als kleines Kind, haben wir, hatte ich das immer bekommen. Und das hat eigentlich immer ganz gut funktioniert auch. Das habe ich auch schon mal gemacht. Ja. Salzstangen, Cola, genau. Medikamente nehme ich ungern. Und heiße Kartoffeln gegen Husten? Nein, kenne ich so nicht. Nicht, aber Schmalz habe ich mal gemacht. Ich persönlich äh, gurgel immer Wodka. Also ich trinke es nicht, ich gurgel es nur. Auch eine gute Tipp. The Germans also seem to believe that scarves have magical healing powers. At the first sign of a cold or a sore throat, they'll reach for the scarf. In summer, indoors, in bed, anytime, anywhere. Just trust the scarf. Homeopathy. Most scientists might dismiss this form of alternative medicine as hocus pocus, but many Germans swear by these little sugar balls known as globuli. In fact, homeopathy was invented right here in Germany, back in the 1800s. <sighs> Have you ever felt like the weather was affecting your health? Well, the German Weather Service publishes detailed Biowetter maps. These actually map out where in the country you're most likely to suffer from migraines, circulatory issues, or sleeping problems on any given day based on the weather. Okay, that's your health check over. Have you noticed anything else about health in Germany? Do you put onions on your ear in your country too? Tell us about it in the comments. See you next time.